it was one of those situations where when you've been around long enough you just start to see the game differently it's almost like everything slows down around you thinking back what part of the process did you enjoy the most we set the bar super high given the quality of the players there were expectations we had to live up to It was just after camp, and coach called me in to talk about the preseason games. I didn't think anything of it at the time. It was the first of many moments that would eventually snowball into something much bigger. So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory. And it wasn't really always pretty. They had their bumps and bruises. Really, both sides did. But they did what they needed to do at home to get the win. Yeah, they really had to grind this one out, didn't they? Because nothing came easy. Every snap was a major league brawl. They had to win at the line of scrimmage, win downfield. They got all those things accomplished. But to win a close one like this, you know, every team wants to be physical. It wasn't our best showing and we'd need to ensure we didn't repeat it. The press were eager to learn more. But it was still preseason. Little did I know the impact my answer would have down the road. I got a note the assistant GM wanted to see me a few weeks later. I thought I might be in trouble, but it turned out to be something totally different. The assistant GM made his notes and thanked me. You can imagine my surprise when I read later that we'd actually signed him. The next day, we were doing the meet and greet in the locker room when a coach came in and told us to suit up. We had a training plan, and once we had our cleats laced up and our helmets on, we hit the practice field. gentlemen you must have had your oats this morning because today was a great practice coaching staff we can't ask for much more if you guys consistently do that we're gonna win a lot of ball games if practice makes perfect then we just had one that was close to ideal and we weren't the only ones who thought so We'd made a big splash in the preseason. The regular season was just a week away. Time to ride the wave and hope we don't wipe out. It's the Minnesota Vikings taking on the Chicago Bears. A very warm day outside by Minnesota standards, but then again, it is still summer. Either way, the AC is working just fine at U.S. Bank Stadium. A little different for this offense. They've got one of the most talented teams in all of the National Football League. They think big things are on the way. Take the offseason off because all I keep hearing is how they're having great practices. And I told them I've heard the exact same thing. People have told you and me first. Third and left. He'll fire this one deep for Eckler. Got his man. He set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks. Stephon Diggs. On third down, Prince. And he's able to find Diggs. So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears. And with that, our journey begins, Charles. Week one in the books. Going to be a great season. We were all riding high after the win. Back in the locker room, 
I checked my phone and saw tons of rumors about players who wanted to be traded to our team. I figured it couldn't hurt to mention it to the assistant GM. And sure enough, when I brought it up, he was more than receptive. Didn't your offense have a nickname that year? What was it? Our backup QB called us the Show Goats. I think he grew up on a farm somewhere. Still, it masked our aspirations and wasn't that bad. <laughs> Time was tight. We had an autograph signing in just a few hours, but I wanted to make sure I got enough work in with the new guys. The practice seemed to fly by. We all left the field feeling pretty pumped for our next game together. They say summer is the time to live in Chicago. Well, that's extended into autumn as we are ready to roll under blue skies at Soldier Field. Here's the first carry for Austin Eckler. And some space here. He's at the 50, 30. Here we go, here we go. 10. Touchdown, Chicago. On first and ten, Prince, he's going to loft one deep left side. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And the Bears add on. Okay, we need to double check here with Marvin because he keeps all of our good stats. But what I've got is five drives, five touchdowns. It had been a long journey just to get to this point. And with every step, the stakes were raised. The press wanted to gauge our confidence level. As I stepped away from the mic, I knew the next time we stepped onto the field would determine whether we kept going or vanished forever. It's the Chicago Bears taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. In the first half, pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connect. Open man, he finds Komet. Touchdown, Chicago. And they're moving on to the conference championship. How about this? What a tremendous feeling to get to the game that can get you to the Super Bowl. We were all nervous before the Super Bowl. Who wouldn't have been, right? But I looked at the players around me and remembered everything we'd done to make this a reality. And with that, we put our helmets on and headed for the tunnel. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion, Indianapolis Colts, taking on the NFC champions, the Chicago Bears. Off the play fake. Prince. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, Chicago! With a first touchdown of this Super Bowl, and the Chicago Bears have etched their name in NFL history. They are your Super Bowl champions. For the victors getting to hoist that Lombardi trophy, you know, we've talked to guys that have done it, and they say there's no better feeling in sports. I don't know how there can be. The, the, the journey to get to this game is incredible. And then to finally break through and win it when all eyes are on this game alone because there's nothing else going on, that's just got to be absolutely amazing. That, the task, incredible. The accomplishment, forever. And it's been for us as well here in the booth, for Charles Davis and our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you next season right here on EA Sports.
And with that, the dream team stepped off the field and into football legend. What means more to your legacy? It was a once in a lifetime opportunity to be a part of that group. I'm grateful we were able to cap it off with the Super Bowl title.